Welcome to Shivering Timbers Dojo. Today we're going to continue our deep dive into Kenpo Yellow Belt. Again, this is the AIKKA style of Kenpo, so if you're like, oh, you do these differently, yeah, I probably do. Um, again, the instructor that I had uh, can change things and modify things a bit, but it's very recognizable, and a couple of these are pretty common throughout Kenpo. We're going to do uh, rising elbow, and we're going to do kimono grab today. Uh, you should be able to recognize both of those. Pretty solid ones from a grip from behind and a grip from the front. Uh, and then we'll work from there. So again, we're going to do rising elbow and kimono grab today. Okay, so yellow belt kempo, we're going to start with rising elbow. Rising elbow is uh, quick and dirty from a uh, grab from behind. same thing with some flailing hand. Well, okay. For those of you who are unaware, if I have my uke, he's attacking me, and I drop power bomb on his groin. Drop power bomb in his groin. Anybody who's ever been hit in the groin really hard knows that you don't feel the pain for a few moments. Once it sets in, yes, it's terrible. Uh, even for the ladies, it's, there's a lot of nerve endings down there, it's bad. But if you want to get someone's attention, absolutely immediately slap them. I don't know if it's the same for ladies, I suspect it is. A quick slap is again, it, it, it fires off those nerves very quickly. We are firing off the nerves quickly because this is a dangerous position to be in. I can't tell you how many fights I've seen. Uh, you know, online where somebody grabs that from behind. He's not going to stand here. He's going to lift me and throw me. And he is looking to do something terrible. So, the first thing I do is step to the side so he can't. That is my first defense. Boom! And then slap the groin. The slap to the groin immediately makes him go in immediate pain and gets him in defensive mode. And then I hammer them because I'm angry. And now I grab because I'm going to keep a hold while I lift up and rise that up over right the jaw. Other side, boom. The cutting to the side is one of the quickest things I can do to keep from getting lifted. Go. Boom, slap, hammer, grab, and straight up into that. Now, we're going to switch it up a bit. I'm going to grab him, and he's going to knock me to the side with that. Boom, to the side. Got it? All right. Ugh! Yeah, that works fast. I'm gonna grab you and I'm gonna lift you. Don't let me. You ready? All right. <laughs> Good. You're a little bigger than me. Hard with So I want you to lift me this time. Yeah, like, haul me in the air. I'm gonna lift you. I cheated. If you will note, the second he got here, I lifted my elbows up and said no. I lifted my hips down and said no, and then hit. So slap, hammer, grab, boom, straight up. Here, we'll go from this side. One more time. Grab me a minute. Oh. Slap, hammer, grab, and straight up. Okay. Kimpo yellow belt, kimono grab. It really does hurt. I really don't like that. 
He's digging into my pectoral muscles. He's digging into my collarbones. Big guy's gonna bend his arms. That's gonna make my life suck. I don't like that. So I'm going to bend out with my whole body the way. See, I'm using my body because my whole body is stronger than his outside arm, which is what's gonna hold me. The inside arm, hey, it's got nothing. So now he's gonna hold me with the outside arm. My whole body versus one joint, right, boy? Okay. So when I do this, I'm gonna trap the hands and extend them so I can hit them. I really don't care how you hit them. You could ridge hand. You could hit with the knuckles up. You can make the eagles be hit with the knuckles like this. It does not matter. The point is, strike a muscle, strike a nerve. What if you don't hit a pressure point? What if they don't react to pressure points? It doesn't matter. Hit something. The point is, is that you hit the arm and you make them regret having the arm in play. Secondarily, when you stretch it out, it's easier to hurt it. Now, come around, big motion, boom, right there. You want to get this free. So, grab. So when I come back, boom. I won't get that free. If he doesn't let go, it's gonna hurt, and then chop right there. Again, the idea is that brachial stun. What if you don't hit the neck? Okay. Hit him in the jaw, hit him in the ear, hit him in the temple, hit him in the collarbone. Hit him in the boob, it doesn't matter. Hit him. Do something. So, other side, if you will. Hey! 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 You'll notice that by hitting the arms down hard enough, it's going to unbalance him forward. Really open up the side of the neck and the head for you. Real slow. I come back. Boom! Ooh. What if he doesn't let go? Okay, throw an elbow. Like, it doesn't matter what you throw, throw something. All right? Now, big strong dude. Let's see if he can do something. Come on, please. Hey, hey. All right. This time I want you to come on the ground the right way. Step a little Aha. Now let's talk about that. He did it fairly well, but when he stepped the other way, but, yeah. So you want your forward foot to match with that forward leading arm, because that's where all the thing is. Switch your, switch your foot so you're doing it. Now it's a lot harder for him to reach me. Yeah. There's not nearly as much power there. So make sure that when you step and grab, you're definitely keeping that forward foot forward. So, one more time. Step forward, foot forward. Stretch me out. Step. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, you stepped the wrong way. Yep. You gotta remember that. There it is. Ha ha, good. Footwork is gonna make or break this. Footwork, ah. Footwork is imperative. One more time. Combat speed. Ready? This was Kimpo Yellow Belt. Uh, this time we did rising elbow and kimono grab. So rising elbow, you know, they grab you from the back and make sure you get the hips. Getting the hips to the side is the biggest part of anything. Same thing kimono grab. We have lots of fancy things to do with our hands, but it's the feet, it's the stance, it's the hips. That's where your power comes from. That's when we start learning. We've done stuff with the hands, with the block chop, and now we start learning. You gotta get your hips into this. So, keep practicing. If you don't like this, say it doesn't work, try it with some pressure. See what you can do. If you still don't like it, come to class. All right, stay safe, thanks.